from pandemic to protest, from protest to an unknown state of life. These protests, these pandemics are no surprise when human beings are here on a free enterprise out for themselves, destroying everything in its way, every life, every creature, every river, every ocean, every particle of air, and every landscape, every forest, every century of where life is, been destroyed for centuries, for millennia. We are doing this with utmost force today because human beings have been empowered with tools, tools that has never been used on the face of the earth. These tools that are meant to enhance human possibilities and bring about change for human suffering, hunger, human struggle, famine, homeless, human depredation of life. Instead, these tools have been used for the advantage and to gain a phenomenal advantage and phenomenal profit for very few. Phenomenal power for very few. It is sad that these tools that were meant to really encourage the human possibility has very much caused a human struggle human suffering and human collapse of society. It is time that we all rise to realize what we are doing to our planet, to every life and to ourselves. In the name of greed, in the name of religion, in the name of politics, in the name of money. No one is going to survive in this entanglement of confused education that has created a twist, an entanglement in our possibility finding solution for human suffering and human struggle. It is time that we all come together, pause, rise to a conscious level of human conscious level of state. And then we should all work towards achieving well-being and recognition for life on this planet. If you don't do this, what is the, what is the purpose of your greed what is the purpose of your political agendas? What is the purpose of your religious agendas? If the human well-being and human suffering and struggle and starvation is not removed from this earth, none of us are going to be in a pleasant state of life. 
I wish and I hope everyone see this as an opportunity to find a solution, working towards human upliftment without profit, without greed. We must all work towards the same goal with no profits for anyone. Only then we will find a sincere, honest, accountable way to care for each other.